This is question 1 from the GATE 2016 session 2 EC paper. The question relates to eigenvalues of a matrix. Underneath the question, you will find the title of the NPTEL course or video relevant to this topic. So, a little bit of background. An eigenvalue of a uh, lambda is an eigenvalue of matrix A if there exists a vector V that is not equal to 0 that satisfies AV equal to lambda V. If you can find even one vector which is non-zero that satisfies this then you can say lambda is an eigenvalue of that matrix. Right? What is the question asking us? For what value of x will this matrix A have a zero eigenvalue? So what does it mean for the eigenvalue to be zero? It means there exists a vector v such that av is equal to, well, lambda is now zero, zero v. But zero into v is just the zero vector. That is, av is equal to zero. What does this mean? It means v belongs to the null space of the matrix A. What does this also mean? It means that the matrix A is not full rank. So all we need to do is figure out a value of x such that this matrix is not full rank. So what does it mean to say that the matrix A is not full rank? Well, it means that these three column vectors are linearly dependent, right? That is, I should be able to give this column vector as a linear combination of these two. So let us first try and find out what is the C1 and C2 such that 413 column vector is a linear combination of the other two, right? That is 413 are equal to 3C1 plus 2C2 and 9C1 plus 7C2. I have linearly combined the two columns to get the third column. Now, this is just a simultaneous linear equation set and if you solve this, you will get C1 is equal to 2 by 3 and C2 equal to 1 to satisfy it. So, these are our two constants. Now, of course, since we are saying that these are, uh, we can linearly combine these two to get this column, the same two constants should work. So, minus 6C1 plus minus 4C2 should be equal to minus 9 plus X. And if you solve for this, given that you know the value of C1, you will get that X is equal to 1. That is, for this value of X, the matrix A will have a 0 eigenvalue. That is, that is, the answer is 